If you've been around in the league community for long enough, you've probably seen those videos from pro guides and the likes that are titled something like 50 crazy tips you must know for getting out of low elo. And you're like, whoa, 50 tips, that's like crazy. And then you watch it and it feels like you've just been reborn with the amount of knowledge you gained. So then you queue up for some games expecting to rank up, but you kind of just don't. So you keep queuing up again and again, watching more and more of those videos just never going anywhere. And you begin to question yourself, am I even having fun? Do I even enjoy League anymore? Will I ever climb? And the answer to all of these questions is... No. And I know that that's the answer to all of these questions because how much you climb and how much fun you have playing this game all ties to one thing. Your perspective. And that one thing also happens to be what none of these awful courses or YouTube channels teach. And I like to think that my channel isn't awful, so I'll give you the one piece of advice that made me change my perspective entirely a couple seasons ago and teach you how to apply that advice. And whether you relate to that situation I was describing before or not, this video will still help you to either have a bit more fun with the game or climb more once you understand it. And that piece of advice is stop playing your champion and start playing League of Legends instead. And this advice is mainly aimed at people who get bored of champs easily, people who want to get better without playing thousands of games, people that are just generally bored of League, and insanely hard stuck players. So if you're any one of these, listen up. So first, let me explain what I mean by this. I like to look at it in two parts. The first part being stop playing your champ and the second part obviously being the rest of it. When I say stop playing your champ, I pretty much mean you should stop thinking about the things that are specific to your champ before you play, while you play, and after you play. So anything about your gameplay that can't be translated onto a different champ than the one you're playing, you need to just try and forget about it. So that means your combos, your interactions with other champs, your trading patterns, ability usage, knowing your limits, even most of the details about the matchups you're playing are all a waste of time for you to think about for now. The reason I say for now is because if you want to be a really high level player one day, you'll eventually have to master the things that I just listed out to get there. But that should come after you understand how to play League of Legends itself, which requires you to understand the fundamentals, which I'll talk more about in a bit. And of course that doesn't mean these skills aren't relevant to your gameplay at all, they still do make a difference to how good you are as a player, but... What I'm saying is you can get good enough at these skills without even trying to just by putting enough games into a champ. So there's no point thinking about them. In fact, I would say thinking about these things too much is the main reason why people get hard stuck as well as being the main reason people get bored of champs so easily and can't stick to a main and eventually ends up being the reason why people get bored of the game entirely. And I would know because back when I started playing the game in season six, this was my exact problem. As you can see, I played hundreds of games and was never even able to escape silver. I hopped from roll to roll and champ to champ and I eventually ended up quitting out of boredom in season 7. Back then I would pick up a new champ, get pretty good at all of these things on that respective champ, then get bored and move on to another one. It was only when I came back to the game in season 9 and started trying to play league instead of my champs that I started climbing. I was also able to play game after game after game of Orianna without getting bored at all, so I was actually kind of having fun while playing league. No way, the guy that jokes about how much he hates league every other video actually doesn't hate league? No. Don't get it twisted, I still hate this shit, but once in a while it can be kind of fun occasionally. Only sometimes though. And yeah, this isn't something only I've experienced by the way, I've helped and coached literally hundreds of people that have all had this problem, then they change their perspective and rank go boom upwards. I promise I'm not making this shit up. So as I implied earlier, the second part of the advice, start playing League of Legends, means when you go into the game, when you play and after a game, you should prioritise thinking about the fundamentals. And what are they? Well, it's kind of up to your interpretation, but I consider them to be timing of trades, wave management slash CSing, jungle tracking slash warding, map awareness, micro, an ability to stay focused on the win, or not autopiloting. So if you ever die in game, instead of thinking, how could I have comboed that better, or I should have hit this skill shot, or I should have used my E first, or whatever champ related thing it is, instead think, how could I have managed my wave better here, or maybe I should have gone for the trade after he used his W, or anything else relating to these fundamentals. The idea is to think about the game in terms of these things and get as good as you possibly can at them. That's what it means to play League of Legends, and that's what will lead to you climbing more and having more fun. I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I'm just making sure my message is clear. Oh, and as a side note, if it wasn't obvious, it helps to have a small champ pool when doing this, because as I said earlier, you'll get to a good enough level at these things without thinking too much about it, which will stop them from distracting you from the fundamentals. Now, I'm obviously not going to talk about how you apply these fundamentals, because I've got a whole series on that called League Lab already. So what I will talk about is how I approached improving at these things, and hurdles you might run into if you're trying to play League of Legends, instead of your champ like you used to. So pretty much, to improve at these things, 
I wrote them all down and I rated myself on all of them on a scale of 1 to 10. I picked the one that I had the lowest score in, broke it down into even smaller categories and then rated myself on those on a scale of 1 to 10. I then picked a few that I thought I sucked at and worked on them. And how did I work on them? Well, when I finished a game, I would go through the replay looking for moments where my lack of skill in whatever area I was working on screwed me or my team over, then thought about what thought processes I could have had to avoid that happening next time. Then in my next game during loading screen, I would think about the things I'm working on and how I could apply them in that game. If you want an example on how to break something down, for trading, I would break it down into how good I am at applying each of the openings that I talked about in this video, as well as trading with a purpose in mind. You can figure out how to break down all the others yourself by looking at my other videos. So let's say you do all this, you play a bunch of games and you're still hard stuck. I honestly don't know what to tell you, you probably have some really bad mental blocks or an ego problem and you're either going to need a coach or you're going to need to reevaluate yourself. Or let's say you do all this but you're still getting bored of all the champs in your champ pool. You probably aren't thinking about the fundamentals enough again or you just really aren't clicking with the champ you're playing. I'd say stick it out with your champ pool for like 100 to 200 more games really try to think about these things and go from there. And if you still aren't having fun with League at that point, it's probably not for you. If any of you have had some kind of epiphany watching this video, then that's pretty fucking cool, so let me know about it in the comments. More than anything, I made my channel for the purpose of helping people discover what makes League so great and getting them started on their own improvement journey, so if this helps literally anyone with that, I'm happy. Actually, if anyone who's been watching me for a while has done some significant climbing recently or is just generally starting to see League in a more fun way, I'd love to hear about it, especially considering I am down astronomically bad right now, so I really need my mood to be uplifted a bit, so yeah, let me know. But yeah, that's all for this video, lads, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in a bit.